Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and yeah, today my video is just going to be me showing you my Bath & Body Works collection. I know I've been doing a lot of hauls and collections recently, but since I'm not planning on buying any hygiene for a little, or not a lot of hygiene for a little while, um, I decided just to do the hauls for each category that I had and then do the collection right after because I probably won't be buying any bath matters until summer SES, which is about two months from now, two or three months-ish, kind of. Yeah, like two or three months. Um, yeah, and other hygiene, um, I don't know. There's just really not anything out right now that piques my interest. So, yeah, that's what we'll do today. And before you leave, make sure you like, um, comment your scent of the day, or your favorite Bath & Body Works item, or scent, something like that. And then subscribe if you would like to. It really helps my channel out. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers. Um, yeah, I'm like, I think I've been doing YouTube for about four years now. So, yeah, I'm on the road to 100 subscribers. When I release this video, I have 73. So, not too many to go, you know? Like, what, 27 left, I believe? So, yeah, let's just get right into my Bath & Body Works collection. I want to show you my smoothie. Um, this is a nice tropical smoothie. I'll tell you the recipe. It is one banana at the bottom, a whole banana, like it'll be a medium-sized banana, and then a tropical fruit blend. Mine had pineapple, peach, papaya, and strawberry, and then I put like mango juice slash mango nectar from Jumex in there. Um, blend it up. It's super, super good. Super tropical and, you know, kind of matches with Paradise, Papaya Paradise Cove just because it's the same, like, scent flavor thing, you know? Anyways, we're going to get started. So the first one I have is Papaya Paradise Cove. And I have uh, all three of the scents in the shower gel, at least, in this collection. It's a super pretty color. I love when they do colors like this. They're so beautiful. Ooh, man. Um, these are the notes, fresh papaya, starfruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. I don't smell any amber in this at all. Um, yeah, then I have underwater oasis, and the notes are sparkling bergamot, jasmine, bamboo, marine notes, and blue musk. This is a unisex scent. Um, my brother likes this scent too. So yeah, definitely a scent for both men and women. Then I have pink coconut calypso. This is more of a sweet coconut scent. And the notes of this one are coconut water, seaside freezer, sun kissed lily, apple, and driftwood. I have to tell you guys, I'm filming on my iPad and it's like really heavy to carry the iPad around and film. So, and this is a little interesting. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So, we'll just do this. Next, I have a beautiful day. And the notes for this one are sun kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. So yeah, that's a really nice one. I really, really like this scent. It's a nice fresh apple-like scent. It's super, super good for so spring and summer. Then I have Hibiscus Guava Fresca. And the notes are... A Capulco Hibiscus Fresh Guava Grapefruit Agua Fresca Beach Iris and Sea Salt Driftwood. This one smells super nice. It smells kind of, you can see me. It smells kind of like a drink and I really, really, really enjoy this scent. Yeah. Then we have Golden Sunflower. It's a very florally scent, not for everybody. If you don't like floral, you're probably not going to like this because it is a florally scent and not necessarily like a fall kind of scent. The notes are sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. I don't really smell any of the vanilla. It's more of just a sunflower. Next, we have Bath & Body Works at the beach. Um, again, this super pretty teal color. I think they do really well on their teal, teal colored body care. Um, it's just a super pretty color, very aquatic looking, and yeah. So the notes for this one are white frangipani blossoms, toasted coconut, and sea salt. Reese, I really, really like the scent of this. I used up a mini body cream in this, and it is a super nice scent. Next, we have vanilla rainbow sprinkles. Again, I like this packaging better than the packaging on the mist. The shower gel has a different scent than the mist. The shower gel actually smells like carrot cake and cream cheese frosting, in my opinion. So yeah, um, the notes on this one are vanilla bean, confetti, sprinkles, and whipped frosting. Really like the sound of that. Then we have cotton candy clouds, which um, I like this packaging a little more than the packaging on vanilla rainbow sprinkles. One, because the text is easier to read, and it's just um, kind of prettier. This is a very sweet scent. It doesn't necessarily smell like cotton candy, more berry-like. Um, anyways, the notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Obviously, it smells like sugary pink berries. 
but yeah, not a super cotton candy scent, but cotton candy honestly doesn't really have a scent. It just smells like sugar. Um, it has more of a taste, which I think that's what people are meaning to say when they say it doesn't smell like cotton candy, because cotton candy just has like a sweet smell, but not a distinct smell. Like it just smells like sugar, but it has a different taste. Anyways, sweater weather. I love, love, love this scent, and I honestly don't think this is a fall winter scent at all. Um, the notes on this one are apple slices, blue skies, and fresh breeze. Now, to you, does that sound like a winter scent? No, it doesn't. That's because it doesn't smell like winter scent. I wish I could have gotten the creamer lotion and the spray in this. Um, I just didn't pick it up. Or Actually, no, I didn't see anything else other than this at uh, the summer annual sale or at the outlet, which I'm super bummed because I was so hoping they would have the whole set in this because I love, love, love it so, so much. Anyways, that is one of my favorite... Um, that's probably my favorite scent that came with this winter, along with a different scent I'll show you later in the same collection. Next, we have the Happy Birthday Champagne Toast Shower Gel. This is a very um, citrusy, bubbly kind of shower gel. Super pretty. Um, it can be a little overpowering, sorry, if um, you use it a lot. But the notes on this one are pink champagne, black currant chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. So yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. And it smells really good if you mix it with snowflakes and cashmere which is the, another scent in this collection that is my basically all-time favorite for winter. And then I have Violet Leaf and Blackberry, and this is like a semi-annual sale release, this line. Um, a lot of people didn't like any of the scents in this whole collection, and I was really confused because I liked quite a few of them, like the, the Wild Lime one, I liked this one, and the Raspberry and Pink Lily wasn't bad either. Um, I don't understand why people really didn't like them because they were very nice fragrances. And anyways, this one is super fresh. I don't smell any floral. It's more of a slightly fresh. No, it's very fresh with a slight, slight hint of berry. Anyways, it's super, super pretty. And the notes are fresh green violet petals and succulent sugar blackberries with powdery vanilla bean. Super, super nice fragrance. And then I have frosted coconut snowball. I don't like the color of the liquid with the frosted packaging. Um, it just kind of makes it look like dull and gray, which is not my favorite look, but... The scent is pretty nice, and it is more of a summery scent. Um, it's not my favorite scent, but I needed some winter shower gels, as you can see. Um, so that's why I got this. And um, this is Frosted Coconut North Pole Vanilla Winter Freesia Snow Kissed Woods and Spun Sugar. Yeah, um, I really, really like the other things in this line. This is probably my least favorite, but it's still not a bad fragrance at all. Now onto the moisturizing body washes. The first one I have is the blueberry. Um, I also have a few more body washes in here that I'll tell you later, like the ones that are actually in my shower. So I have the blueberry moisturizing body wash. This is just the blueberry extract. This smells candy-like, blueberry candy-like. It's a really, really nice fragrance. I prefer this scent over the strawberry, but the strawberry one does smell really nice as well. Another Christmas fragrance from the same line as those two is the Winterberry Wonder. Um, this is a really nice scent. It's a slightly tart cranberry fruity scent. Um, I don't know why people think this is too tart, because I certainly don't. But to eat your own with your, um, how you like your fragrances. The notes are Ruby Frost, Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. And yeah, this is a super pretty fragrance. I love the, like, the shiny packaging and just the sparkliness of it. It's a super nice thing. And then we have the Coco Shea Cucumber Moisturizing Body Wash. This is a very fresh scent. It doesn't really smell cucumbery, but it does smell fresh and spa-like. Yeah, it uh, has cocoa butter, shea butter, and cucumber water. This doesn't really have notes, but it is very nice. Okay, and the last shower gel I have that is not aromatherapy is the Strawberry with Strawberry Extract. Um, to me, this isn't the best scent. As you can see, I'm pretty much... Um, almost done with it. Um, to me, it smells kind of like fruity cardboard when I first smell it, but in the shower, it morphs into this like fruit roll up strawberry scent. So it is a very nice scent. Not my favorite, but I would repurchase um, just because when the hot water hits it, it's, it smells really good. Okay, so next I have my aromatherapy things. I only have six, but that's okay because I don't gravitate towards aromatherapy that much. Um, yeah, so the first thing I have is the Stargazing Meditation Moisturizing Body Lotion. This is bergamot, patchouli, and vetiver to inspire um, mindfulness and relaxation. The apothecary jars are really pretty, but the reason I don't buy 
more aromatherapy is because it's just not my favorite. Um, I like the body washes the most, but I found that the lotions, they don't last very long. I don't know why, but yeah, this is a um, nice citrusy calming scent. I really enjoy it and it's super pretty in the packaging. Then I have Zen Garden, which isn't everybody's cup of tea as it is Mosa, Pink Pepper, and Ylang Ylang. Um, yeah, this is a very green, peppery scent. Most people probably would hate this. I know a lot of people on YouTube don't like this scent, um, but I really like it. I don't know why I like a green, peppery scent, but I like most scents that have a spicy, peppery aspect. I don't know if it just works good on my skin or something, but I do like this one. It just smells so green and spa-like. Um... Yeah, really nice, and I'm here. It levels out. I'm almost done with it as well. And then I have the body wash I use with that one. This is Relax Hawaiian Sandalwood Eucalyptus and Mandarin. Anyways, I like this one. It doesn't match perfectly with this, but it is. Um, it matches a little better than the other ones I have. Anyways, it is super pretty, um, and I'm matching this body wash with both of these lotions. Um, and some other them because the, I use the lotions up faster than the body washes just because I double cleanse so I'm not using too much of them for one cleanse anyways it's super super nice I really enjoy it and the aromatherapy body washes just lather like none else next I have the revive which is a Brazilian orange mandarin and guava so after I use up this one and this I'll use this one with this until I run out of that and then I'll use that with that this is such a nice scent. Again, guava and like papaya. I just love those scents. Yeah, it's a nice like citrusy, fruity scent. I really, really enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of this one, but it's a little more fruity and less herbally. And next I have the Aromatherapy Energy Orange and Ginger. This is a beautiful scent. Uh, most people don't know this about me on YouTube at least. I love ginger. I like spicy ginger soda. I like ginger tea. I like ginger spice. I like ginger anything. I have ginger wax melts. Ginger is my best friend. Um, just kidding, but I love, love, love ginger. And so the uh, orange and ginger in this is so beautiful. Um, it's just so gingery and orangey. I absolutely love it. And when I um, use this one, I'll be ending up using it with Sunrise Yoga, which is um, Mandarin Spearmint and Juniper Berry, because they nice kind of slightly <laughs> herbally mandarin orange scent before we continue we're gonna take a break to say hi to rolls you want to know what he did he literally just tried to jump into my window and smacked himself into the glass because he didn't realize it was closed <laughs> anyways this is rolls he says hi yeah he's so cute anyways back to program. so next up we have body lotions i have a very minuscule amount i literally have seven of them but um i've recently found my favorite formula is the body creams so and i literally don't have any summer scents they're all fall and winter scents which is fine with me because the two fall ones i have can go anywhere and then one this can go anywhere as well so the first one i have is the thousand christmas wishes this is the um <laughs> ooh, the canadian packaging this is super pretty packaging. Um, I honestly wish they would have made it like a more wraparound packaging. And that's what I don't like about their sun, or not, sorry, their body lotion packaging. It's not like wraparound, which I mean, I appreciate from a Project Panner uh, per perspective. But honestly, since the labels are basically always clear, yeah, they're all clear on the back. Um, they could do like a more wraparound or at least color the liquid. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, the notes on this one are pomegranate, prosecco, star jasmine, and sugar woods. Um, this one to me is quite similar to Winterberry Wonder, but this is more tart and strong. Um, a Thousand Christmas Wishes to me is quite a light scent. It's, yeah, it's like you can smell the lotion scent. I don't know if you know that like natural lotion scent, you can smell that in here with a hint of fruit. And I honestly would much rather prefer... Winterberry Wonder, um, you where you can't smell the lotion scent, but it is a nice lotion and perfect for Christmas um, if you don't like super strong scents. Then we have Into the Night, which honestly, for a while, when I was like 13, which is two years ago, this is like my favorite scent of all time. And at the time, I didn't buy much Bath & Butters, but I bought, 
I bought the lotion, I bought the shower gel, I bought the mini spray and the large spray, which for me is literally unheard of. I used it the mini spray and the shower gel. Um, yeah, also back then, I literally had like two lotions and all I had this one and that one because I didn't use lotions at all. And now that I use lotions, um, it's like weird to me that people don't use lotion all over the body like every day. Um, I don't know how they live with such dry skin. Or they just have don't dry don't have dry skin, but anyways, whatever. I love this scent. Um, honestly, people are like it's like a going out scent. Um, I don't wear this anytime. I literally wear this one just at home. Um, yeah, it's very strong. This is the ones that you don't need the perfume to make it smell like a perfume. If you just have even just the spray, it's so strong. It lasts forever. Um, and my family doesn't seem to mind it. My brother hates basically all the scents I have just because he's very sensitive to scent. Um, although I don't like the scents he wears too, which is, you know, weird cologne stuff. Anyways, he doesn't mind this scent because I've worn this quite a few times and he doesn't say anything bad about it or he says other bad things about my scents, even though they smell fine. So yeah, it is a, um, not complained about fragrance, but yeah, I didn't tell you know, it says Raspberry Nar, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose, Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. Anyway, it's a super nice fragrance, and I like the, like, frosted lid compared to the shiny lids. Then we have Golden Sunflower. Again, this is, uh, oh, this is not, never mind. I have, this is a very nice fragrance. This is technically a winter, uh, fall fragrance. But I think of this as, like, a florally late summer kind of fragrance not necessarily fall but late summer when it's getting a little cooler like the leaves make a crisp smell in the air and you just want to smell a little floral because it's still summer i like this fragrance a lot i've been trying to secure the fragrance mist i can't find it and no way am i going on Macari and paying money uh, that kind of money for it anyways i do like this fragrance and uh yeah it's really nice and it's very floral so if you don't like floral you're not going to want to pick this up uh oh like having focusing issues right now come on focus oh there we go sunflower petals orange flower fresh vanilla anyways a super nice fragrance that i really enjoy then we have vanilla bean noel i really don't like this packaging i like the packaging of previous years more I like the sparkly packaging but it's not the worst packaging ever the notes are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kissed musk. This is one of my favorite Christmas fragrances. A lot of people say it's um, too fakey, um, but I like a sweet, sweet vanilla scent, and this is what that gives me. So sorry if you don't like it. I like it. Your opinion's your own. Um, yeah. Uh, comment down below what your favorite uh, Beth Myricks like uh scent is i think i said that in the intro but do it again <laughs> then i have winter berry wonder which some people don't like because it's too tart i know samantha kim doesn't like this because it's too tart um honestly i don't find this too tart i find it beautifully perfect um anyways the notes are ruby frost winter berry sparkling cranberry and crystal vanilla i'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky holding it with one hand is just a little difficult because it's kind of big because i'm using my ipad to film on because I don't have a camera. Anyways, that's fine. <sighs> Anyways, we have champagne, apple, and honey uh, body lotion. My mom got this for me, uh, I think, two winters ago. And the notes are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. People love this scent. I know Tina Marie likes this scent. Yeah, it's just a very soft appley sweet scent and i really really enjoy that scent i've used a little bit of it then we have snowflakes and cashmere this is oh this is my um other favorite scent from this line along with sweater other um this is a super soft scent i think it be, can be worn year round and this one smells really good with champagne toast the notes are vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine 